Hello everybody and welcome to Blue Marble Science. Arwen takes a crack at gravity and then tries to explain relative density disequilibrium. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Caution, this may not be suitable for intelligent people. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out the oven mitts, push those monitors back out of punching range, and let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. I had dropped by Arwen's show one day and I ended up in a back and forth with Nathan Oakley in the chat. Arwen picked up on it and took exception to my statement that we can actually measure the force of gravitational attraction between two masses, in other words, the Cavendish experiment. So let's listen to what Arwen had to say about it. The measure the force of attraction between two masses. What? Really? So how are you measuring the force of attraction between two masses, Blue Marble Science? This is just overboard. No, not overboard, Arwen. Just over your head. But most everything is over your head now, isn't it? Look, I know you meant calculating and you reify calculating into measuring. No, I'm not reifying calculating into measuring, Arwen. We're actually making measurements. Because you do that all the time because math is reality but to actually just blatantly say that you are measuring the force of attraction that, come on that's really stupid that's a really dumb thing to say how could you measure that with a torsion balance Arwen like this one I've got a lot of information on this on my channel but it works on the principle of torque. You know what torque is, Arwen. That's like when Nathan Oakley grabs you by the back of the neck and gives your head a twist. You can only calculate that. Everybody knows that. How? Because electrostatic force, yeah. I, th I guess that could be the, the, electro the electrics could be measured. The force, not so much, because force usually can only be calculated. Or weight which is kind of calculated a, a calculate a calculatory derivative that's weight it's pressure and then translating it calculating it All right but how would you do that with unmeasurable gravity gravity that cannot mass attracting mass gravity that can only be calculated it's so stupid if we put some really big lead balls on the outside of the enclosure near the small balls that are on the torsion balance the torsion balance will be attracted to the large balls but now if we move the large balls to the opposite side of the enclosure the torsion balance will be attracted the other direction and the amount the torsion balance moves is a measurement of the force of attraction that you say we can't measure now don't you feel like a silly boy? How? It's just asking, oh, it's so simple, it's so simple, yet you keep malforming the entire thing, Blue Marble Science. Yeah, while you are trying to gaslight us into making us feel stupid about ourselves for not knowing the basic shit that we or most of us go through in school, and the reason I do that is because you guys don't know shit from Shinola. You are being tested on actual scientific knowledge. If you understand the scientific method, what it is, right? And we're testing you. You keep on ignoring it, but you're the one being tested here. I'm being tested, huh? I got a better idea. Why don't we get Arwen to explain to us the flat earth theory of relative density disequilibrium and how that can replace gravity. You up for it, Arwen? Well, yeah, I'm just using the formulas for gravity, except I'm routing those formulas into actually physically proven scientific data, relative density, experimental data, things that you can repeat in order to confirm that it actually does work like that 
that the formula is correct, empirical, right? So I'm just filling in the same shit, right? That all you globe lovers and your gravity fantasy that they like to use, it's the same formula, except this formula is not routed into fiction because it's based on relative density, which is actually scientifically proven. That's the difference. So yeah, taking your toy, taking your toy, zero G, I'm taking it away. It's, it's mine now. It's flat earths. Yeah, it's mine. It's flat earths. It's not yours anymore, ballers. It's not yours. You don't have proof for gravity. You mean except for the proof I just provided. And oh, by the way, that same experiment has been done countless thousands of times over the last 220 years, always with the same result. How do you like that for repeatability? So you can imagine that it's some kind of proof. It's not, though, because the entire foundation is resting on something that doesn't exist and that scientific community is still engaging and trying to find. Well, I didn't have any trouble finding it and measuring it out in my garage, Arwen. I don't know what you're on about. It's utterly ridiculous, right? So I'm taking your toy, your zero-G fantasy toy that you makes you believe there's such a thing as gravity. I'm taking it from you. It's mine now. Put the gravity back where you found it, Arwen. You can't have it. Do something about that hair. It's flat earths. The flat earthers own it now, own the concept. And we rub out the zero G, we put neutralized density in its place. Works exactly the same, except we don't presuppose something that doesn't exist. That's the difference. You haven't seen one? Well, why don't you pay fucking attention, you goddamn retard? You've seen the formula for relative density. It, it's self-explanatory. It's right there. Relative density. The relation, density, relation, medium, object. The relation. You take one density, which can be expressed numerically. You take the other density, also numerically. You, yeah. You cross it off. You see, oh, how much more dense is this thing than the medium? Then you got the formula. That's the formula. That is it. I'm not going to put some fucking numbers or letters and make it into a stupid little fucking calculation because of your math. Well, that was certainly one of the most elegant descriptions of a scientific principle I believe I have ever heard. And I certainly want to thank Arwen for that. But at this point, Arwen seems to be getting a little upset. So maybe it's time for us just to say, hey, thanks for watching. And remember, Arwen, when I say, how stupid can you be? That's not a challenge. It's a question. Hey, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down there. A special shout out to everybody that supports the channel. I really appreciate it. You guys know who you are. And just in case you don't, I want to put your name on screen here in just a second. Hey, we'll catch you guys on the next one.